been the best since I stepped in. Bring a hooker to the motherfucking Jets in. In the sack, break a back like a red skin. Need the dough like I'm trying to get the bread thin. Tree to make the head spin. Every season play the corner like I'm Revis. Light scenes are heavy bearded like I'm Jesus. New York City, Queensboro be the backdrop. I bring it back to one of the benches near the blacktop. Big things see me moving like a Sasquatch. Yo, what up, y'all? It's Action. It's Action News Network. We're gonna look at Tariq and She. Is he the most hated YouTube star? Is he a cool magnet? Why is everybody hating on him? Why is there dudes dedicating, grown dudes dedicating videos? To this, uh, this man I mean this guys with sites I mean like I said this guys with sites and a uh, YouTube channel dedicated to just hating on his brother I don't agree with him 100% but I will defend any black man that's getting railroaded by coons let's go what's up everybody it's your boy action um this is what we gonna do um I find it really weird that um like, homeboy Tariq Nasheed, right? Like, I, I, I watch him and shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, you know, I, I like his passion towards uh, the black community. Um, but there's a lot of hate for him, man. And it makes no damn sense, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe everything that anybody on the internet says, you know what I'm saying? 100%. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tariq is a good entertainer. Um, he seems like a guy who's been trying to make a living online. And he kind of found himself in the middle of uh, kind of just doing uh, in the middle of just doing a lot of uh, of uh, like black uh, empowerment, you know, movies with hidden colors and the, the Haiti movie and stuff like that. And whenever you, you do documentaries, because most of the documentaries that you see, you know, like uh, written about us and stuff like that, are not made by us. If you haven't really noticed that, they buy the History Channel, they buy some white or some um, some Jewish people or whatever. But you know, here's a brother who's doing documentaries on us, and there's a lot of a lot of hate on him. You know, yo, know, like he kind of had, you know, like anybody else. You know, he had to find his niche. You know, he was he was like a a dating expert. He had his like how to Mac books and stuff like that. People accused him of being a pimp. You know what I'm saying? And um. Which is which is crazy, you know. But you know, then there's the there's the gay rumors and stuff because he's a soft-spoken dude, you know. Not he's not even that soft-spoken of a dude because he will light your ass on fire if you have a if if, if you play him too too hard. So yo, know, he's you know, kind of like me, man. Like you, you people try to test me, man, because you know, I don't. I try to talk as intelligently as I can, but you know, I'm, I'm from the hood, so you understand how people. I understand how to talk to my people at the same time, but at the same time, I try to show them, uh, you know, some some extra vocabulary and some extra things, man, because I am a very learned person. So, you know, sometimes people take that and mistake me being a learned person for being a nerd or a chump or something like that. When it's, you know, you don't want to find out my, my other side, really. But before I digress and stuff, like I said, I don't believe everything the sheet says. He, he's a, a, a self-proclaimed war. I don't really trust Moore's 100%. Not that I have any hate for them. The Moore's Science several brought me to the understanding that I have now, and a lot of knowledge I do have is from them, and they are a good reference when it comes to certain things. But like anything else, you don't take everything for face value 100%. And um, I use that rule with the sheet also. You don't take everything at 100%. But the brother is doing good work. No matter what his past is, all of us black folks, we have a past. We didn't always be, we wasn't always these goody two shoe people, uh, goody two shoe, uh, good people. I know the hell I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I just came into, you know, the, the person I am maybe a, a couple of years ago. But definitely in my 20s, I was a, a raw dude, man. I was doing a lot of dirt. And now I, I try to make up for that by teaching what, I, what I've what i learned and, and giving it to my people. Again. You know, but there's a lot of channels just straight dissing him. And there's something about, there's something weird about a grown ass man who spends his whole time making videos about another grown ass man. And it's sad, there's a few people. And they have to be like agents, man, because it's like crazy as shit. So let, let's, let's listen to some of the weird shit. Now this is dude, his name is, uh, what's his name? G Lowly Rants or something like that. You know, it's, he sound like an FBI agent. 
You know, you're going to hear this guy talk about uh, how melanin is not really that special and how the cops are not really that, you know, racist or whatever. It's just really dumb shit, you know? And he claims I was a Tariq Nasheed fan or whatever. Bullshit. You like some kind of agent. I don't know what the hell Nasheed did that has all these people pissed off because, yo, I don't know if it's his hidden color movies or whatever. But you black dudes who get up on here and, and do these videos about this brother who, you know, and I, and the thing I think about Nasheed is that he has his kids in the forefront. He, he's a family man. He got his wife there and stuff. A lot of these videos, they try to show him in the past before he got married. You know, like you, if you went into my past and seen the shit I did, you, you could make write videos on me. And if I look at, I guess, as big as he did, does, you know, Nasheed is on, um, on the internet, I guess people will start digging in my past and start trying to find the dirt that I did. You know what I'm saying? Right now I'm a nobody, so nobody's like digging into nothing. But this is this is exactly what happens when, you, and this is why we can't as a people progress anywhere because we got butt hurt fuck boys like like this dude right here, G Loyally, yeah. And I'm calling you a fuck boy, butt hurt fuck boy, because you know you don't use this platform to diss other people. And this man has not done anything to you. For you to come on here and say the shit that you say is retarded. And I usually don't do this and make videos about other people and stuff like that. Like I said, I ain't the sheep's biggest fan. But I'm just trying to figure out what's in the mindset of you freaking coons, man. And, and it's, it's pissing me off because this is the reason why we can't make it. Alright? So let's look at this 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 butthurt faggot, you know, in his dumbass delusional pro, I guess, police agenda or whatever. I don't know what the hell. Let's start from the beginning, because I was kind of watching it early on another platform. Alright, let's, let's do this. Onyx Truth. And I want to talk about Tariq Nasheed real quick. Yes, that Tariq Nasheed. So, I've been following Tariq Nasheed online for a few years now. Hell, I even purchased the first two Hidden Colors DVDs because I wanted to see what all the hoopla was about. It's not like a scorn. And after that, I pretty much stopped watching his movies because during the um, Hidden Colors Part 2, that series got a little Alex Jones like in the uh, conspiracy theory department, especially when they started talking about how melanin has superpowers capable of communicating with the universe or some foolishness like that. But anyways, it's Hidden Colors Part 2. I had to rewind it back, my bad family. Here we go. That series got a little Alex Jones like in the uh, conspiracy theory department, especially when they started talking about how melanin has superpowers capable of communicating with the universe or some foolishness like you hear this right here obviously his brother doesn't know how special his melanin is all right melanin is a superpower all right we don't burn up in the sun and we receive a lot of energy from it obviously you're not because you're turned off from your melanin all right you don't use it right you know because you're fucking uh you're panhandling for for white daddy i guess you know what i'm saying as Nasheed would fucking say, but you know, like it's it's not a really a, it's a superpower in the sense that not everybody has it. You know, the non-melanated don't have it, and this is why they walk around lost and empathetic, and this is why they don't know anything about themselves. They don't have any common sense, and this is why they are warlike creatures. They lack the melanin. The sun talks to you. The sun gives you information. If you're open to it, it doesn't mean every damn person walking around with melanin uh, is open and privy to it. But if you are, you understand it. The sun, me and the sun have daily convos every day, man. Especially that's why I'm out here in Arizona, man. Like the sun, the sun be keeping it real with me, man. It, 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 yo, when I be having ant questions and stuff like that, I'm outside, and the sun beams on me, man. It's like it be like making my brain work in a different direction. All right. So this this fool is is self loathing. He's like uh, spitting out uh, Eurocentric bullshit. You know, as if melanin is is not special. If it's not, then why why we don't we burn up in the sun, bro? How come we don't get skin cancer and have boils and and get cancer and all this other crap and shit? Obviously, it is special. 
It's like saying that photosynthesis is not special to plants. It's just some regular thing. No, it is special. It was created for the plants to create energy and create food source for themselves. And melanin is basically photosynthesis for the human. So, like, not having, you know, melanin is like being a plant that instead of being green and its stems and leaves is like blue or something like that. You know, that, that plant wouldn't last that long. It, it was actually a deformity. So, what, what is this dude talking about? Let's continue. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about hidden colors. I'm really here to ask the question as to whether or not if Tariq Nasheed actually believes the shit he says, or is he living in an alternate reality where he's just absor absorbing ridiculous amounts of melanin that are floating through the air, which is causing him to see life in such a skewed manner to where it's becoming so ridiculous and laughable these days. So obviously melanin must so be some kind of is, drug now, according to his rules. If you Tariq Nasheed on Twitter, you should know that his timeline is flooded with nothing but tweets where he's going on and on and on about the white supremacist angle. You know, even if there isn't a legit white supremacist angle, Tariq will, he will find a way to pull the white supremacist angle out of any and everything. I mean, this guy, he has a, I guess that's his natural God-given ability <laughs> is to find the, the uh, white supremacist angle in anything that you can imagine. Okay, so regar regarding that, so um, when white people, when, uh, say like a, a young black kid is killed by the police, right, has no real criminal record, but you find out in the fifth grade that he stole a candy bar from a store or something like that, you know, so white supremacists don't uh, go in reach for the lowest common denominator when it comes to like trying to justify when white supremacy goes wrong, when white supremacy <clears throat> kill somebody unjustly, just ju justifiably, or when they uh, when they imprisoning people, right? For 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 for, and, and, and that goes into this topic that he's gonna talk about next. When they falsely imprison they pe imprison people, or when they uh, throw the book at people for stupid uh, uh, charges, like your uh, fr frivolous charges, right? So the so it's it's all right for them to do that shit, but if we turn around and say, well, this is because of white supremacy, you know, and, and crap, that we, we, people are just making that shit up, huh, bro? They're just making that shit up, right? That's how I know you work for like the government or something like that. You're, you're some government agent because it's like you're, you're taking offense to this. It's like, ooh, boy, you guys are crazy, man. You y'all the worst kind of black folk, man. Like, let's continue. And then if he can't find it, or I'll put it like this. If there isn't a legit white supremacist angle, he'll hit you with some shit like, see, that's what the white supremacists want us to think. They want us to believe that there is no white supremacist angle because of the I'm white and I say so rule. You got to be smarter than that, family. And there's no and I'm man, white and I say so law, if right? a black person, you are Where the hell do you live at? Canada co some shit? any and everything this man says, regardless of how much full of shit it might be. Or risk getting tossed on the coon train but once again you gotta admit his ability to pull the white supremacist angle out of anything is rather impressive and laughable i mean Tariq Nasheed, this dude can go into a footlocker and look at a bunch of shoes on display and find the white supremacist angle he'll be on some shit like you know why all these shoes got white shoelaces? That's because all of these colorful shoes represent the melanoid people of the world and the white laces represent the white supremacists and their stranglehold on the melanoid people of the world. Now go out there and buy my hidden colors. My dude, you sound like, you know, this is like what I would expect from like Stormfront or something like that. Some, some white supremacy ass site and stuff. All right, like you know, like uh, I, if you was doing a, a roast of Nasheed and it was in f good taste and, and funny, then yeah, maybe that would be funny right then and there. But you know, you're like trying to build a channel off of this band's uh, career and crap. And the only people people are watching you is because they're like either fans of his. It's like, what are you talking about? Or people like me that's like, yo, why 
it's there like seven or eight dudes, it's, it's mostly black guys on here, talking crap about Nasheed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's ridiculous. You guys never show your faces, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, how I'm up on here and shit. You know, I'm a real man, and I, I back everything I talk about and say. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm proud of everything I talk about and say. So, I'm on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm on here and stuff like that. So, but y'all guys, y'all never show your faces and shit. And then y'all talk all this crap and shit. It, it's hilarious. And you try to build a channel off this man's, you know, if you don't know use his name, you, you get a couple of uh, people listening and shit. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I never, you know, like, it, this is crab in the barrel ass mentality. These guys are either agents or they scoring butthurt losers. Because, you know, when you watch Nasheed's, uh, his, 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 um, his little radio joint he do, or uh, when you when you watch him at home, you know, doing his little thing, talking to to his peoples and stuff. You always got these dudes who call up like little bitches and stuff like that with their uh, trying to like like troll. Like you're, you're you're making a channel trolling, bro. Like you're trolling on a channel. It's it's crazy. Hell no, my mix live DVD. You'll be on some bullshit like that, but um. You got to give this guy props where props is due with his ability to just pull white supremacy out of the crack of his ass at any given moment. <laughs> this dude is like a I mean, bozo, this dude, man. This, this dude is wild. But anyways, I was on Twitter today, and I saw this tweet come across my timeline from Tariq. So Tariq reposted a tweet from SportsCenter, and the tweet from SportsCenter said... A warrant has been issued for the arrest of Philadelphia Eagles defensive end Michael Bennett after he shoved a 66-year-old paraplegic woman at the Super Bowl. Allegedly, because we don't know so who Tariq really did put it. his own caption on the uh, tweet. He stated, This is law enforcement getting revenge on Michael Bennett for calling out the racial profiling he experienced obtained by police in Las Vegas. So we got a professional football player by the name of Michael Bennett who had a warrant served on him from shoving a 66-year-old paraplegic woman at the Super Bowl. And somehow Tariq Nasheed has found the white supremacist angle to declare that this is payback for an incident that took place last year in Las Vegas with Michael Bennett when I believe he was arrested due to some uh, racial profiling from the police. So this is this is payback. <laughs> you, this dude is, you, where the fuck do you live at? Where do you, I think you living in an alternate reality, bro. I think you're delusional and you live in an alternate reality. Where the fuck I'm from? All right, I'm saying, and most of Black America is saying that this man is being railroaded because of that. You cannot be a black man and go through anything with the police and charge them with uh, misconduct or brutality or any kind of mistreatment of you and and go on a platform and say so and not end up being either lynched physically or socially. I'm not going to go into the whole details because I made a whole goddamn video about this and you could check it out on my Action uh, News Network. It's called the social lynching of uh, Michael Bennett. You can check it out. Where I go through every fucking angle. I show you the, the the Las Vegas incident from every angle you could possibly see it at, and then I, I break down the press conference and shit. I even got a video coming out with the um. I'm, I'm also gonna drop a video with the uh, doing a background investigation of the the um the police chief of Houston, R. A. Savedo, who wasn't even the police chief at the time of the fucking um the incident. And how he's known to be uh, kind of a, a ham in front of the camera. So this kind of public publicized case is pretty perfect for him to um, jump start his, his new career here at uh, Houston. You know, uh, at the fifth largest police department in the country. You know, so he's really have a big stage and he's using it. And uh, unfortunately, he's using uh, uh, he's using uh, Michael Bennett as a as a, um, a scapegoat for that. And my, my investigation is very fair and balanced because you're going to be uh, surprised about what you're going to learn about Acevedo, you know, because, you know, I even had to apologize to, to, to the dude. But you'll, you'll see it when you see my video. I'll probably drop it today because I'm in the process of editing it. But, yo, 
This dude is crazy, man. This dude is crazy. Like, for real, uh, you believe everything the police say, and you believe that this guy is not being railroaded for that? We don't know if he pushed the, the, the lady. And, and, and even if he did push a lady and she injures herself, that's not a felony fucking charge. You know, <laughs> in most places, that would be a violation or a freaking, at the, the, the most, a misdemeanor. You know, if it was intentional. It's his, his brother played in the Super Bowl. They won the, the fucking Super Bowl. He was happy and running through the goddamn thing, trying to get down to the goddamn stands. They didn't know the doors was open. And he might have bumped into them two ladies, you know, unintentionally. You know what I'm saying? And it's a liability to have a 66-year-old fucking paraplegic working in security anyway. Would you even fucking admit, you fucking doofus? But I digress. Let's continue. This is payback for him calling out the cops last year, so now they come to get him. I hope the cops fucking do you dirty. It can't be due to the fact that maybe he should a video and laugh at your ass. Because Tariq then posted another tweet. Where he did a screen capture Like uh, I guess uh, the police brutality doesn't happen He was alleged to uh, the, the alleged uh, uh, offense And Tariq said the following He's like These are the details of the quote assault That Michael Bennett quote perpetrated Against an elderly security lady This is the epitome of the I'm white and I say so rules That black citizens are subjugated to Let's do it, man. I almost can't do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like fast forward a little bit. It's the second video of this dude. out there, especially all you clowns out there on YouTube. So recently, I've been accused of trying to use Tariq Nasheed's name to bring more attention to my website, my podcast. You're not being accused is exactly what you're doing. Because I have two channels, by the way. So, being that this is what yes. I'm accused of doing, I bet you got some Nasheed videos on other channels too, bro. You don't even promoting that channel, right? By putting Tariq Nasheed's name in the title. Of Damn, this homie, that's a bad picture of you, man. Yeah, all, I sweat like fuck. Tariq Nasheed is a very well known person in the media, and I'm not. So, fuck it. I will use his name to draw attention to my shit so I can get my clicks and views up. But here's the real situation. Tariq Nasheed is a public figure. Since when are public figures somehow excluded from having commentary created about them? If I were talking about Kim Kardashian, Negroes wouldn't give a flying fuck. But since it's Tariq Nasheed, Negroes from Blackistan presume that Tariq is somehow off limits from criticism and if he is criticized then somehow this criticism I can't with this dude it's not that he's the, the dude is not off limits man you know what I'm saying and if I had some kind of a problem to say about it I would say it I wouldn't make a whole video about it and I definitely wouldn't have four or five or six or a whole goddamn channel dedicated to you know hating on Tariq Nasheed it seemed like your butt hurt scorned faggot dog that, that's that's why people are making fun of you and giving you uh, all this 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 vile hate because you seem like you're butt hurt. You know, like you just say something in the middle of a video or something like that. Oh, you know, you ever heard Tariq Nasheed? This is blah blah blah. The problem I have with him, he says this that, and third. I'm pretty sure I'll come across something I'll say bad about homeboy and shit. Not bad about him, but maybe I disagree with something he says. If it's in tune of one of my videos that I'm doing. Then I would fucking say something. But I'm not going to make a whole video. You know, your first one was like 30 something minutes. This one's 16 minutes. Bro, I'm just 45 minutes out of your life, you, you dedicate to another grown ass man. A fellow black man at that who ain't doing nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? He ain't hurting nobody. You know, like you, he ain't take your call one day or something like that. He told you to get off the, the phone. You asked for some money or some support and he said no. So now you dedicating your, your videos to him. It's funny, bro. Like you, you was a loser. Light skin hero, on, bro. You know, let, let's take a listen a little bit more. It's really just a person trying to it's make a hard. name off of Tariq. Yes, yes, the channel has no this stuff. This is some in. of the dumb Negro follower logic that has made Tariq Nasheed a millionaire. I assume he's a millionaire. That's what you're mad about. Never of attempting to think for themselves due to the fact that they don't want Tariq. To label them a coon or a Negro bedwinch. Nobody gives a fuck if he labels you a coon. To discover that I'm still going to live, nigga. This was actually quite entertaining and rather funny. Like this nigga 
it really is kind of funny. But and you low key like complimenting him, then low key dissing him. This is odd words for word. It, it makes me want to throw up. Just co-signing his shit all because he found a way to dress his argument up in white supremacy rhetoric. I'm just kidding. Find a Negro who follows him screaming coon this, coon that, white supremacy this, and white supremacy. Every other black person that Tariq is out there shitting on. No, nigga. You are the nigga or the coon or the Negro bedwinch that he's constantly talking about. Oh, man. This dude, man. Like I said, man, you're like kind of butthurt, man. I don't know what's your deal. Let's look at your your, your whole... Here's the videos. Like I said, this dude's name is G. Lowly Rants. And the, most of his rants is about Tariq Nasheed. So he got one going with Tariq Nasheed. This is the one we just watched. His dumbest followers. It's Tariq Nasheed delusional. That's that's two, right? And three, I actually like Tariq Nasheed's song. Like I said, it's some weird old fucking... Oh, he's the only black person in the whole fucking entire country that don't like Killmonger. Super pro black and whole types are currently bound at the altar of Eric Killmonger. Let's see this. Let's, let's, let's get a mindset of how... As you know by now, the movie Black Panther came out this past weekend and apparently it's breaking all kinds of records at the box office. I finally decided to go watch the movie at the matinee with the old white people because I didn't want to have to run the risk of dealing with any foolishness from Ray Ray and Bob Kwee Kwee. So, I'm not about to give a movie And you're trying to do a, uh, you're trying to be like a uh, professor black truth. I thought the costumes were amazing. The acting was on point. The overall design and flow of the movie was pretty damn good, but overall, you know, it was really a good movie. I'm not exactly sure where I would rank it when it comes to Marvel movies, but eh, it's probably in my top three, I guess you could say. Um, my number one Marvel movie is uh, oh, Captain. Like here, yeah. I'm sure you all saw the same endless updates and videos as well. The overall message that is constantly being broadcasted from Blackistan is that black people aren't allowed to indulge in any type of entertainment, period. We should have our minds squarely fixed on fighting racism and white supremacy 24-7, 365. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you do, then you are a coon society. That's the typical Blackistan message these days, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, get on with it, man. Stop feeling like But get online to constantly complain about white supremacy and the state of black people in order to try to make themselves appear to be some type of thought leader. Yet, you would more than likely find it extremely challenging to find any average Negro from Blackistan living up to every Blackistan commandment. Think of extreme importance to talk about on their next YouTube video, tweet... You don't want to kill Monger. This movie might have taken a completely different turn once the Wakandans discovered the power of melanin. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed. Overall, Doozle. Eric Killmonger Doozle. is the epitome of super pro-black. He is the super pro-black super hero. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This hurts other than so badly to Just last to week, me. Negroes from Blackistan were just telling the rest of us Negroes oh went right out of the God. window when Eric Killmonger's car character emerged. So, don't be surprised if your favorite Negro from Blackistan dresses up as Eric Killmonger for Halloween, even though just last week. They were telling the rest of us that we look like complete idiots and fools for engaging in cosplay our damn selves. Nobody's going to call you. You probably I get no call. engage in calls. cosplay, by the way. But you get what I'm saying. He's trying so... Listen. This this dude's trying so hard. You must have got beat up in school, didn't you? You, you got beat up in school. Now you trying to pretend to be some like I'm pro black from the angle of uh 
that I'm not super pro black. Not everybody who's super pro black. So you hate Tariq Nasheed or you jealous of him. You 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 hate uh, Killmonger. Then you try to do like black issues, like women should not use their children as pawns of issues, child support. So we all know that you're a loser there. That's probably you know it's real hard to you. Why most women are lonely on the So you hate women too. Is your man, yo, like, oh my god. Being pro black is a futile endeavor, yo, dude. Go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. You're like, you're, who are you? You know what I'm gonna do? I gotta see something real quick. For the most part, I presume. Around around black people and attending. Let me see how people are commenting. Shout out to Tuskegee University. One can't help but be somewhat conscious. Even when I initially joined the military, I was somewhat conscious as I was able to. Yo, you got some kind of fan right here. There's another fucking uh, coon right here. TDMC123. Versus Negroes like me, who worried about that ass kissing life. Which unfortunately caused me to be assigned to a lot of shitty details early on in my career. Until I started moving up the rank. But even still, there goes one. I wasn't about that ass kissing life, which probably. You can read the description. Not making a certain rank, which helped this is a white dude here, yeah, probably. To exit the military after 13 years. So, there's always been a level of consciousness. Low IQ, low view, sample. Thank my you. consciousness didn't get really turned the fuck up until. You don't have no confidence in kill. After George Zimmerman was acquitted, I was about the most pro black, light skinned and Negro Roman. Then Mike Where's Brown that died, that he's Ferguson erupted, Eric Garner died, and on and on. Do black women naturally just naturally have attitudes? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy again. But like I said, you know, this, this dude was a coon, man. United States Air Force idiots, bro. I, I'm, I was in the Air Force. So, like, I take seriously offense to that. And who the hell is Geraldine Lovely? Is this a chick that, like, rejected you or something like that? Like, maybe I have to go check her out. I don't want to, like, uh, comment on something I don't know. But, like, I never heard of her in the news. So, you bringing up somebody that's irrelevant. Is the black barbershop a toxic place for black men? Yo, dude, who are you? Okay, nobody's really boycotting Netflix for Monique, but still, you thought you was going to be on top or something there. Pro-blacks do not want black people to see black people. You're, you're, you're... Negroes go monkey in H and M store. You can't keep running back to me with all those like you, you, you're like a, a fake. You're like you're like a a, a fake pro black person. You're like pro black light or something like that. Like all your videos, fake outrage or legit. Like yo, dude, it shouldn't even be like a question with that. With that coolest monkey in the in the jungle t shirt. You're a weak black man. I guess you're a product of an interracial relationship, I guess, or you're probably in one. You sound like a black dude that's that's with a white woman. You know, not that I really fucking care, but you know. Yeah, this dude, you know, like, yeah, this is the prime example of one. Umar Johnson is a whole tough hustle. I would agree with you on that, but your video probably takes a twist somewhere in there. Like I said, you don't know where the fuck you want to be at. You're trying to be all over the fucking place, but you're, you're a fucking loser, dude. Here's another soft shoe coon who spends like half his time like uh, trying to diss uh, Tariq Nasheed and other pro-black people on here. 
Uh, his name is Keyboard Musician. Again, another one of these dudes who don't ever show their face or whatever and shit. Just fucking uh, make videos dissing people. So, his one video on Tariq Nasheed. Let me see if I can find just his videos. Let me go to his fucking thing. Yeah. Like, I don't what know who picture that is. Keyboard Musician. And, you know, you get to such an agent fucking name. No witnesses. Talk my shit. Yeah. This is it, what? Them dollars falling from the sky, let's get rich, what? So you're making fun of Sound Campbell who exposes his pedophilia and hip-hop. You know, that is, yo, such, it, such great reporting there. Introducing Richie from Boston, you're making fun of him. These are just niggas who's hating. Like your agents who's, 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 who's hating. Yeah, anybody that listens to these niggas is like fucking, what you call it? Troop Unveiled 777 is not a fraud. Alright, this dude, like... Videos do not go, it'll be like stations, your channels do not go down because they're, 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 um, they're deceiving people. They go down because they tell them the fucking truth. Because I could put up a whole bunch of videos up on here of people deceiving people, like, like you, keyboard musician, and the other faggot that I had earlier on here, and crap. You guys are like paid by fucking Google. I wouldn't be surprised you paid by Google. I wouldn't be surprised. Then you miss, this is Secure Team 10. I'm not into the old UFO crap anymore. You know, you kind of grow out of that shit when you realize the, the, the truth about the Earth and stuff. And that, you know, aliens are really interdimensional beings, what you used to call demons. You know, so you be being tricked in that full sense. And that's what Truth of Bill shows. But Secure Team 10 does show some stuff. And stuff. A lot of UFOs you do see are, are, are mostly a military aircraft. I know that from being in the Air Force, all right? They mostly experimental aircraft from different countries. Not even just the United States, but from different countries. Russia will fly their craft here. China will fly their craft here. It's like war games going on up there. And they all try to scare each other's populations, all right? So, you know, he, he does a good job there, too. So shout out to Security and 10. And I'm glad that Truth Unveiled is back up. And, 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 you know, and definitely check him out on um, Truth Unveiled 777 Archives. Great, um, great place to learn and stuff like that. And I get a lot of information from him. Okay, Hassan Campbell again. This is the, the guy who exposes child pornography. I mean, child pedophilia. Here we go with the, you know, uh, with the truth and she burning. I know. Yeah, he had a whole bunch of videos on the sheet earlier. Before, yeah, you know, he goes another one. That's two, three. In his mouth, he tried to raise the price on me in the spring in the mix of a drought. So when Poppy knows, you gotta listen to this. Dude. In the bag. Wrong is wrong, and right is right. Now, we can argue about that all day long if you want to, but where would we get in that conversation? Oh, it's like you got it's probably the same guy. I trust you, there's nothing you can say to get out of that, and there's nothing no one else could ever say to defend you. Against that. It's really weirdo shit, yo. With your weak apology. I'm sorry I didn't warn all of you about him, but I was trying to be a good... As well as everybody else. Because you have never done anything for the people. They have done everything for you. It stops this year. No more large amounts of cash. Now what you gonna do? How you going to uh, get by knowing that you can't receive... Hundreds of thousands of dollars from the people anymore. I heard that you're trying to come up with a different idea because this documentary shit is done. Done. You could beg for money right now concerning Hidden Colors 5 or any other name that you want to call. These dudes are weird old losers, bro. I guarantee you they wouldn't give it to you. I guarantee you that you wouldn't. If it wasn't so money. pathetic, it would be and funny. You don't want to make me right, so you dare not try. So you think this time you're gonna try to go a different route, and I guarantee you, you'll still be begging the people for. If it, if it, if it wasn't so sad, it would it would be you know somewhat funny. Then I told him shut the fuck up, but his dog even said. Sorry, to put the in this hey, yo, shit, you heard that? More Hassan Campbell. You no, know, you got a lot of fucking videos on Hassan Campbell. I guess you want to be butt raped or something like that, man. So there's four videos on YouTube, five videos on YouTube. Tommy 
Tommy Sotomayor, you know, everybody can diss him. Five on the sheet. Six on the sheet. Tyreek Nasheed needs and depends on these documentaries. It's 90% of his income. So what? It's 90% of History Channel's income too. He's already talking about creating another documentary because he has to get you prepared to give him a hundred thousand dollars or better. I can't. Yo. All right, so you have that dude, whatever his name is, he's so important, I forgot. You got keyboard musician, right? So these are, you know, the people that we need to be trying to get out of here. Here's another one. Yo, every every couple of, every month he's in serious trouble, but he's not, right? Dude, it seems like your channel's in serious trouble. For the last 24 hours. It's not even funny, bro. It's not even. Here's another coon. I'll give him his. I'll give you his name a little bit later. Um, he's making fun of the brother's new song or whatever. Uh, it, and the song's doing well. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. A lot of these dudes is haters and stuff like that. Is Nasheed the best thing in the world? Nah. The song is funky. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? It's got a nice flow. Uh, and um, yeah, he's taking advantage of the uh, like the Bruno Mars kind of um feeling going on right now, which is good. And hip hop and, and black music needs to go to that, man, because this trap music shit is is, is whack and garbage and played out. I'm sorry, ATL, but it, y'all need to let go of hip hop before y'all kill it, man. Nobody's held on to hip hop that long, and there's a reason why, you know. Like after the snap movement and shit like that, and, and then you try to do the the crunk and everything, it's like you know I don't know, yo. You could tell white people pumping a lot of money down in Atlanta. Because the music coming out of there is just, just garbage and shit. But, like, listen to this dude, man. He starts off like a coon. Like, he's eating some goddamn chicken and shit, smacking his lips and shit. And crap. The worst I'll do is I come on here after I just took off my do-rag or a hat or something like that. So, my hair be fucked up and shit. You know, I could shave, but I don't like putting metal to my face that much. You know, but, you know, I got to do some work shit this weekend. So, I'll probably be shaping this up a little bit. Other than that... I don't really give a fuck, man. I'm already married to a beautiful woman, so I don't need to uh, fucking, you know, impress anybody anyway and shit. But her, so. But this, this, yo, this dude, listen to this dude, man. He, he's just. Yo. Wow. I'm confused right now. <laughs> I'm confused. What grown man does this, so man? Does this mean I can't with all these dudes, bro. Because I know you're going to sort Shu Kun after a while, too. It's just funny, bro. Like, you know, like, we're, there's so many grown men out here who's, like, fucking sitting around, like, making videos about this dude, man. Like, hating. This dude, and you're kind of right, homie. Like, this dude is a stalker right here and shit. I don't know. You're kind of, you know, you're kind of low-key making fun of him, too, and shit. It's like, yo, we don't use this platform to, to put each other down. I'm putting y'all down because y'all real on some real coon and shit, alright? On some real coon and shit. Like I said, I'm out for the whole pro Africa shit that she does and whatever. You know, I, I don't know if it's intentional or he just doesn't know who the fuck we are. You know, but it's, it's hard for a lot of people to even come to the realization of who we are. 
So I can't just like jump on everybody's fucking back about it. It took me some years. I knew about it for a couple of years before I even decided that, yo, this is this, just this undeniable proof. So, you know, I can't hate on people with that. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they built a platform doing something. But once you know the truth about something, about your people, you're supposed to bring it out. So, that's my thing. Well, I'm digressing. But you guys, y'all are some different level of shit. I will always knock down coons. I am the coon knocker outer. I'm the Mike Tyson of knocking out coons and shit. And I will be exposing y'all and shit. This, this video is going on long enough. But like I said, I'm not Tariq Nasheed's biggest fan. I'm not. I don't, I'm not even subscribed to his shit. I watch some of his um, drinks every once in a while. I like his enthusiasm. He um, stays on top of a lot of like, topics and shit. So, you know, I'm down with that and shit. His song is, is nice. Not the best thing in the world. But that could be improved. And crap. And I like his hustle and his flow. All right? The man has a family to take care of and he does it online. And y'all shouldn't hate on a brother for doing that. You know what I'm saying? If you got disagreements with him or whatever, why don't you call the brother up or, 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 or you know, send some letters or email or some shit? I'm pretty sure you got a place to contact him. And, and like men, you hash it out there. You told him, the, you told nigga what you what your problem is, and y'all go at it. You know what I'm saying? Like men, you don't come on here and start dissing the dude for no reason. He ain't do nothing to you. It's, it seemed like jealousy or you agents getting paid. And most likely, like, keyboard musician, you, you gotta be an agent. Other dudes are like a butt hurt, butt scorned fucking girl or some shit. You know? Alright? Like, this is a very informal uh, video of mine, stuff like that. But I just had to just say this. I just, like, because I, I listen to some shit from the sheet. A lot of y'all, your butt hurting videos be coming up on my feed and shit like that. And I'm getting tired of that shit. So, like, y'all need to stop making these dumbass videos, man. Or I'm gonna keep on exposing y'all. And the more people that I have on my, on my site and shit, like that I guess you know it's gonna get worse and worse for y'all so this is Action Jackson this is an informal report you know just on coons I call them soft shoe cooning and and this one was about you know Nasheed man it's like you know there's a lot of a lot of hate for him for no reason you know what I'm saying? The brother, he just does his little uh, documentaries and shit. He makes money online. Y'all should, yo, this is what you're supposed to fucking do. You're supposed to do make money as many fucking ways. You know? If he was uh, just rapping this, that, and third shit, nobody would fucking care. But, yo, I guess because he wants to put out some positive black shit in, in between his, his stuff, you, you want to fucking cry about it? The man never said that he's an activist of this, that, and third. Y'all keep on trying to fucking put him up there with that. He's just a black man putting out some some, some positive shit about his people. And, and what y'all niggas is doing, y'all tearing down a man that's putting out positive shit about his people and shit. By trying to go for the lowest common denominator. This is why I be on these white people. There's no white people out here doing videos about the sheet. That's that, you know, they don't have to because they got y'all niggas doing it. Y'all niggas is so fucking... Uh, Entangled into the fucking white supremacy system that they don't even have to do it no more. Just like the, the clan doesn't come around lynching us no more. They don't have to lynch us and, sh and, and shit. We lynching ourselves. So yo, holla at your boy. Pay more attention to yo these these coons out here. Give them the hell on on their comments and shit. Let them know they whack and they losers. And and keep it real. Like I'm mad these niggas got like 500 fucking views and I'm I'm struggling to get 100 on, on one of my best videos and shit. But I ain't been on here that long, so maybe, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna cry about it. I've only been on here about, a couple, like, maybe two months now, you know? But, like I said, yo, 500 people can watch this dude, man, and shit, then I better start getting some views on my videos, man, because I'm for the people, yo. All right? Back to my 90s slang. Peace out. Like the scene from the rock, high spinach.